I'm here with mixed media artist Mary Hetmansberger. And Mary, I always want to touch your work because the texture is just amazing. Well, thank you, thank you. Well, rusting and antiquing and making things look old and corroded is that's my that's your that's, jam. That's my jam. That's and you, what I you do. said we're going to start here actually with a stitched piece, which yes. I noticed also has paper in it and all sorts of stuff. This is a real mixed media piece, and this one I just want to point out. So when you're antiquing things, don't be afraid to pick up a torch. I mean, it's the best way to make it look old. This is actually pieces that I've taken, and I've got paper in here, like you said, fabric. But if you'll notice the batting, I like to see the batting, and so I burn the edge. And all I do is I take. My, my size, fold it up, take my torch, hit just the edges and have water right there to put it out and then let it dry. The other thing I do with a lot of my fiber um, pieces with the fabric is I layer. So this has multiple layers of not only tulle, but organza. And you can see by anything that would have where you can see through it. So it's that transparent quality transparent and it makes it look quality. aged, especially by picking a black or a brown yeah, or anything like them. that. It creates really nice shadows. Um, in these pieces here on the left, you can yes. see where I've done that. And then also the neat thing about organza is if you stitch through it, you can also then take um, just one of the you know heat torches uh, or heat heat guns and heat it and it'll burn it out. So that's so all it's these really little nice. holes. Yeah, and again, there's my edge that I've done with um, with my torch on the batting. The Very other really cool. cool technique, and I'll just this is fun. This is this makes such an interesting technique. Take a mixture of flour and water and make a like almost like a paste, but it's almost like pancake batter. Okay. That's the th consistency you want. Put it on your fabric. Make sure it's a cotton fabric. That what we're going to do is you put it on, let it dry, crackle it, and then How use do a you bleach. Crackle it? You wait till it dries, and then it's so brittle that you just you literally just crackle the fabric, mm -hmm. and it breaks up, and then you end up where the bleach will go through and create these great effects. And depending on your fabric, you can have reds, you can have, you know, here's a dark brown, here's more of a tan. Um, then the other thing I like to play with, of course, is metal. So I do a lot of metal wait, work. Wait, this is metal? This is metal. That now, you this stitched is, through? This is metal screen. It's a very, very fine metal screen. This is also so right here, this is copper foil. And I'm gonna show you a fun technique with copper foil just to age it. And this, is, this technique is what I'm gonna show you here. So this is just a plumber's torch. Super easy to to Just use. Just get it at the home improvement store yeah, or something and I like always, that. My, my glasses are good, okay. but I always like to have safety glasses. When you use these, these are just straight propane. You wanna come in, turn it on, open it up. And basically, all we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of fire scale or heat this piece. And I noticed that you're working with a blue flame. Does that mean that it's a certain hotness? Because I don't see a lot of orange or red in the, in no, the flame. No, it's just that's what, that's what the propane okay. has on it. So I'm just going to turn that black. And I'm just putting some fire scale on there. This is super easy. doesn't require any And patinas. you're, of course, using pliers to hold it because it gets very hot. It's metal. Hot. You have a bowl of water ready to go. Ready and as to soon go. as it's in that water, you yep. can touch it you after that. You can totally touch it. And what I do with this is you want to dry it off. And be real careful with some of these real thin metals because you can, if you pull, you can really cut yourself. Okay. So you want to dry it off really good. And okay. then once you get it dried off, you can you can stitch right through this. You can wow. stitch through it when it's shiny. But this creates a really nice look. The other thing I like to do now is I like to crinkle it up. That is really thin that you can just crumple that metal. And obviously you could wear gloves or something if you were, yep. were worried really at all about yep. the edges. And then come in with your steel wool. And you're just gonna go ahead and sand almost, and it's only catching on the raised parts, which is exactly. gonna emphasize all those cracks and stuff. Exactly. What, and again, the texture, Mary, but, I just wanna run my hands over everything. But keep in mind, this is awesome because you don't, you can still run through this with a machine. Now this thickness is about a .002 of, of okay. copper Do foil. Do you need a special needle to sew through no, metal? No, Okay. Now, in fact, it'll sharpen up your needle. Wow. <laughs> so, and then uh, this is another piece I've done, I burnt three these pieces and that's with screen and you can tell that I use a variety of techniques this is just a discharge so I've folded my fabric and discharge is like a fancy way of talking about bleach, bleach. right okay. so I have folded my fabric in sort of an accordion style you know folded it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so like tie-dye exactly but you're using bleach instead of dye exactly and just be aware that you need to wash the bleach completely 
out of the piece so it won't continue yes. to destroy the fabric. Now, that being said, this is paper. So wow. I've done it with paper, black paper. It's real. So how do you wash the bleach out of paper? Very carefully, but it's not hard. <laughs> it's really not difficult. That if you have a good so thick cool. paper, it's not difficult. The other thing I like to do is to play with rust. And um, so I'm putting metal on this fabric. This is another, an, again, just a cotton fabric. And what I do is I just use vinegar and vinegar will react with the rust and, and then it you know, discharges the rust into the so fabric. So how long do you need to let it sit there? Is it, it like days, months, you years? You know, it kind of depends. There's, there's ways of doing it. This was where I literally put it on a cookie sheet and I put the fabric on and I put the rust items on top. I sit it in the sun and it'll, it'll happen maybe within 20, 30 minutes. Wow. A lot of times you need to make more of a, a good environment for it. So a lot of times you take like a rod or something, you have a lot of rusty items, you wrap the fabric, put it in plastic, and then let it, let it soak for a lot longer. Um, again, what happens is that rust gets into the fabric and you, you will feel it when you sew through this. Your, really? Your needle will have a harder time getting through that so area. So maybe you might want to use like a denim needle yeah. or something it, it does more heavy affect duty. The fabric. It does okay. affect the fabric. So this is with fabric. Like I said, you can also do this exact same technique on paper. So huh. the same thing. The only thing I say about that is don't have a paper that's going to break down really fast it's because it the to me know, a watercolor paper or something more substantial more, that's used to taking bit, moisture a little bit more moisture okay um, this is a real fun thing I found this product where you can basically it's a two part um, like paint yeah like paint so the first paint that you put on actually has metal in it okay so if you paint this on so it looks like you're just painting it silver. Yep, and it, it comes in and you basically put all this on the piece first. And once you let it dry, you add the second part and that's what ends up looking like that rust there. Exactly, so then very, it reacts. Very cool. So you can put this on absolutely anything, paper, fabric. This is, this is a basket I wove. So this is a wax linen and that's really important because it already has like a wax quality to it and it still works. So paint this on and then it'll rust. So we'll have a one last quick note, Mary, before we gotta go. Yeah. This here, this is on this one here, this is just using paint. And paint is some of the best ways to make things look antique. And I just water down paint and put it wherever I need it. So many cool ways to add all of that beautiful age texture. Thank you, Thank Mary. You. Thank you.